yeah. Back to Chicago. Sound a little something like this. My name is Toronto Counter from Chicago. Born 1968, February 14th. <laughs> 12.52 in the morning, south side, Chicago. For us, I can now, ladies and gents. For us, I can now, ladies and gents. Chicago Cannonball, Mr. Toronto Cannon. Monsieur, how y'all doing out there? Somebody say yeah! Here we go, hey. came out, then I started getting a bunch of gigs in France, uh, Amsterdam, um, Armenia, been Armenia twice, Canada, um, and now I'm in Brazil, and this is my travel guitar, it's been with me on all of my overseas gigs, you know, whenever I go out of town or go out of the country, this is kind of like my travel guitar, it's a special guitar, it's been some gift for me, and um, the first guitar that was given to me, so it was very cool. <laughs> Tattoo right here. That's my man right there, Albert King. Um, but we are, of course, all the BB Kings and the Freddie Kings, and you know you, you got to you got to go through those guys to uh, to get your point across on the music. You know, Albert Collins is a bunch of them. I just you know. You know, blues artists, you know, Muddy Waters, I mean, you know, Elmore James. But for the, the real, like, the root that I like to bring tears to my eyes and, and bumps on my arms is Elmore James. Elmore James and uh, Hound Dog Tail and J.B. Huddle, like, real raw. Raw Chicago blues sound. I love that. I love that. Tattoo right here says blues man. To um, to, and these are my guitars that I had when I first started. I want you to be my Tina, Nina, new. Kids singing blues and like maybe 12, 13 years old and all that. But if you haven't had your first good loving from a woman, how can a 12 year old sing about the blues with passion and feel? You know what I mean? He's a virgin. <laughs> you know, how, how do you know how to sing? My woman left me. You never had a woman. You never had a woman like I had a woman in 46. There's nothing I could do. If you leave me here to cry. You know, you know. Squeeze it, squeeze it till it sound right, you know? And Squeeze the, the feeling. Squeeze the feeling, that's the feeling, you know? But a lot of cats, or young cats, they just run notes. You know, they scales. That's, that's all good. But when, you, when, you're, when, the, when your woman quits you, or you see her with your best friend, or something like that, you're gonna take that guitar and that feeling of your pain a little bit more serious.
go on passing by. Somebody was to make a video about John the Conqueror, it's, it, it's a visual. I got a piece of her hair in the palm of my hand, cat teeth and gunpowder, and a little black sand. I rub my hands together, blow it in the air. Through the smoke, I can see us in love, crystal clear. You know what I mean? So I try to write from a, if a again, if a person write a video, it's just, it's right there. You know what I mean? You can see it, you close your eyes, you see what I'm saying. Bob Marley wrote like that. I can see what Bob Marley was saying. Bobby Womack, I can see what he was saying. Me, like I should run. I pulled my hand grenade. Sugar in his face. And, you know, I'm not consciously trying to be that person to carry on Chicago blues. I just know what I like. And if I'm just happen to be part of a movement with other musicians in Chicago, then I, I love to be part of a movement, to, you know, as Chicago musicians, to carry, to let people around the world know that Chicago blues is still alive. And I always say that in my shows where it's like, Chicago blues is still alive. I do some wrong, so I'm just walk it off. Yeah, I'm a bus driver from Chicago. Um, I've been driving a bus for 21 years now. And, um, but I, I, I think it helps me write because, again, I, I'm, I have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. I have to, I work from 6 to 6.30 at night. Then I have to come sometimes play my gigs. I have to call people to try to get gigs, you know, bookers, make the gigs, I sleep for five hours and go back to work. Um, you got some people say, well, you're not a real musician because you have a regular job. And I don't believe in that because Muddy Waters drove a truck. Albert King drove a forklift. You know what I mean? You know, you, you have to have a regular job to, to go along with your music. You do what you have to do to do what you want to do. to suffer because I want to be a blues man and so I've been driving the bus 21 years and that's that's what I do it's not my favorite job but it's a job and in America there's not a people are losing their jobs every day and um, you know I'm not gonna have my family suffer my daughter suffer because daddy wants to be a blues man or a starving artist I'm not gonna do that to my daughter you know I want her to be better than me you know I want my, my child to live better than I, I'm living Oh yeah, you having fun? Is it all right? Thank you. Blues is, I think it's just the people's music. You know what I mean? It's just so much you can, you say electronic music and dance music and stuff like that. So much of that you can do your whole life. After a while, when you go home, and you danced all night, and now you, you don't have a job, you gotta go to work. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, I gotta pay bills, I gotta... The blues is always somewhere around you. Some, I think the electronic music and all that stuff, that kind of takes you away from whatever your feeling is. But once you go home, you in life, you're back in life. You know what I mean? And I think people, they might, they say they don't like the blues, but they got something in there there's a two, one to two degree separation. There's something in their CD collection that has blues in it where they don't know it. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it could be a, like when Led Zeppelin covered a lot of Willie Dixon and Muddy Water songs. They thought they were listening to something different, but you was listening to Willie Dixon's word, but it was in a more contemporary um, uh, uh, setting. Um, I, I just think now blues is always around. They just don't know it yet. 
And once it hit them, they're gonna be like, wow, good or bad. I mean, you could that first date, the first date blues felt good. Once she leave you, ah, yes. You know what I mean? Once she go home and that's your first date and everything was cool, you got a kiss, ooh, that's cool. You know what I mean? That's That could be the good blues, you know? Have fun on a Saturday night. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Obrigado. Thank you. Jiba, Dado, Fabio, Paulo. My name Taranzo. <laughs> right on.